During the pandemic, I got stuck in Ecuador for nearly a year. This is the street that took care of me. I lived with this grandmother for about eight months. She let me live with her for free. And I'm putting in about a quarter million dollars into this neighborhood. After we're done building this here, we're gonna fix this one up. We're gonna fix grandma's house. We're fixing up the house right there on the corner. We're giving everyone homes that were living in plastic huts before because this is the street that took care of me. This is the street where Merce Life started. So we're coming back and we're giving back. No, abuela. Cuando él vino a vivir a mi casa, yo le dije, verás, mijito, nosotros somos pobres y si vas a comer lo que nosotros comemos, ven a vivir acá con nosotros. Él fue como un hijo más para mí. Yo por eso, cuando él se fue, yo sufrí mucho, mucho. Yo siempre se rogar a Dios que donde quiera que esté, que a él le vaya bien. Yo no podía creer cuando Aaron me dijo que iba a ser esta casa para mi mami. Aaron dijo, yo voy a comprar un terreno, pero para hacer mi casa. Y después fue la sorpresa tan grande que dijo, no, esta casa es para tu mamá y para Oscar. Up above is an Airbnb. It's going to be the most modern home. And the cool thing is we're on the border of Colombia, so there's a lot of traffic coming through here. There's a lot of necessity for Airbnbs and hotels. We could probably charge about 80 bucks a night. So with this, I think we can really get it booked. And this is literally going to bring him out of poverty into a higher level. Like she said, she doesn't speak English. What she has no idea is we also bought a semi-truck for her son. First, let's do a tour of the home that I stayed in for a year with Abuela. I'll show you the, the kind of the conditions that they're living in here. Here we have Carolina's mom <clears throat> with baby Sisa. This is where I slept for most of the time. We're in a really cold, rainy place here in Ecuador. A lot of humidity, which means this out here is just the mold kind of growing on the wall. Here's the kitchen where we always eat as a family. Here's the backyard. We do a lot of barbecues back here. I'll show you guys. I'll show you the neighbors here. It's just old panels. And and stuff, it, it leaks all the time. The other half is made, the half wall is made out of plastic. Today we gotta go buy all the construction materials for this house right here. A lot, a lot of the people who watch the TikTok were really confused saying, wait, are you giving the grandma a house or an Airbnb? Um, that's the difficult thing about doing TikTok one minute, two minute videos. So the, I'm gonna show you a quick clip right here of, of the TikTok so you guys understand what video this is. Right here is where the great grandma's gonna live. This is like a kitchen, living area. This is a back patio. And then a nice big living room for grandma. So the other half here is for Oscar, her son-in-law. Because Oscar's amazing, he helped me start Murph's life. Um, kitchen, living room, put a TV right there, there's his room. Now let's go upstairs, I'm gonna show you guys the Airbnb. Because when I make Airbnbs, I want them to be nice. I want these to be five-star Airbnbs, I don't wanna make cheap. 100% of the money is going to the grandmas here. Imagine this, all glass. This right here is gonna be glass. That's a balcony right there. Nice little view, look at that. You're gonna look up at the mountains as you're eating your wavels. You guys are gonna be able to book this on Airbnb as soon as it's up. The master bedroom, this is where the balcony is gonna start, right here. We're gonna put hand railings right here. We'll have like a little table, little coffee things. to be like, oh my neighbor. This is Oscar. He is living in the This is the Lido. How long do you think you think it's ready for a job? A month and a half. Four to six weeks, you guys can rent this Airbnb. Look at that. You have the bed right here. And look at your view. You got that whole mountainside right there. The other side of those uh, those buildings right there, that's Colombia. I want to go to the ferretería and buy all the things for the no, la otra casa de tu pan. Ajá, que siempre me pregunte, ¿no? me pide. La casa de arriba. <laughs> pan es, uh, voy a decir lo que pasó con los, con los dados. He's very tramposo, he's a cheater. <laughs> With the dice game, we always play this dice game here called Parchis, ¿no? Se llama Parchis. <laughs> but we're still gonna give him a house too. Because you know, so, so. he has like six kids now, they're getting married. So he wants to build a second level on his house. But poverty, guys, poverty. So we're gonna bless him. Another 20 grand, baby. Another 20 grand. But thankfully, someone freaking sent $100,000 last week to my cuenta. Una locura, solo dijo Jupiter. You guys, these are the ladders we're working with here. I bought him a nice ladder, I don't know what the hell happened with it. Look at this, do you think that can hold my fat ass? Look at that. The, the wood's literally split in half, and it's being held this tiny piece by three nails. And I don't got insurance. <laughs> It's like this really thin, I don't know what to call it, like plywood. Something you'd see like on an old trailer. It's just like scrap metal, scrap wood, just garbage lying around that a lot of people will make their walls out of. We're gonna build them a really nice gate right here. And then we're gonna build them a brand new roof, which will be rust proof. I'm excited. There goes Catalina's mom. First time in Tucán. Buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Bien, no más que usted. Venimos a medir para comprar los materiales. ¿Pensaste que era mentira o qué? <laughs> Can you enter? Yes, yes, no more. 
Look at the roof right here, it's made out of plastic. It's all a dirt floor, so when it rains, it gets really muddy inside of here. The walls are literally made out of just old throwaway wood and plastic, they're like potato bags. And this is very common in Latin America, guys, is having furniture that we normally would have thrown out like decades ago. This is how people use. I'm spending a lot more money in these longer YouTube videos, so if you see this and you wanna donate, mercilifefoundation.com, it'll help us continue this, grow this, changing these lives forever. So I wanna say thank you one more freaking time because you guys have no idea what this means to her. Que Dios le pague por acordarse de estos mayores, que ya no se puede trabajar, ya no hay la platica. Durante toda la pandemia, ella era mi amiga. Uy, hijita, ya voy, espérese, estoy bye, 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 bye. <risa> Allá yo de mi papá, tú no me quedas, yo mis hermanos, me me dan una patada, me mandan a la calle. Esta es su casa también. No, son de enormes. Cuando te mueras, ¿por qué la casa no es para tu hija? Porque tengo más hijos y qué dirán esos hijos. ¿Y ella va para dónde? Mm -hmm. They're not even joking right now. Hey, if anyone wants to make a big donation watching this, she dies, she's gonna be in the street. I'm out of money right now, I'm out of donations right now. I'm literally dropping a quarter million this week. Una buena idea. Hey, tú puedes hablar con sus hijos y decir, mira, un gringo más bondadoso del mundo vino y va arreglando la casa. Pero tiene que poner el nombre también de la de hija. Is the ear. It, has, it still has a bit of hair on it. Yep. But it's delicious. Estoy haciendo cuartito aquí también para la hija aquí en la frente, ¿ya? Ajá. Pero tiene que decir a los hijos para ponerle en los papeles, ¿ya? Tell me your plan. Amor, tienes que comer el cuy. No puedo. ¿Por qué no puedes? Porque son muy bonitos como para comer. Tengo que el mío. Ya están cocinados, hay cinco ahí para nosotros. Veronica gave us this gift. Blessing, Sisa. Ah, mira. Baptism or a dress, huh? Look at it. Qué little white dress. Ah, y está de lanita. Ahora limpia eso. Tienes que sacar con cuidado. No. This is how, uh, there's no running water in this part of the city. There's running water, but it only lasts like a few hours. Sisa, su primer cuy. Amor, ven a comer cuy conmigo. Come un poquito. Mmm. I hope it's not raw. What's the worst that can happen? Sí, I don't know. I have no idea. This is hot. We bless this company. We've done probably over a half a million dollars with this fed that they do. Small, local, less of them. Another house, guys, another house. Ven para la gran sorpresa. Ayudar a construir esta casa, pues, se siente. Eh, mucha felicidad pues de ver que gente que no tiene recibe estas clases, esta clase de ayudas pues y da mucha emoción pues ver. Todo para terminar su casa. Dios le pague mijo, yo le agradezco el mundo, ¿no? De nada. Yo, yo en primer lugar voy a agradecer a Dios, porque Dios hay que agradecer en primer lugar. Yo te agradezco a ti por tu manera que te has con nosotros. Claro. These construction workers have been building us homes here in Ecuador for the last year. Christmas, we just missed Christmas and I forgot to give them a bonus. So they think we're going out to buy them food for a Christmas bonus, $200 food. But what they don't know is we are buying them a freaking motorcycle, each one of them. Bueno, hay una sorpresa más. En vez de comida, hay motos. <laughs> Rápidos y furiosos. ¿Qué dices? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tal te parece tu nueva casa? Contenta. 
uh, ya no se vive en una casa muy estrecha. Tengo que esperar que acaben ese, ese mueble uh -huh. para para poder poner mis cosas. Sí, muy contenta y agradezco mucho a Aaron. Imagínate, si yo le digo, yo me siento feliz que viva así, le digo, le digo si donde vivía era una cosa espantable. Por eso le pusimos la puerta y la pasamos, le dije con que no le caiga, imagínate si tiene luz, agua. Ya tenga paciencia ya, lo que falta es poco, lo que falta es nada, le digo. ¿Cómo te no, sientes que no, su mamá no. tiene la casa de lujo? Yo no tengo palabras para agradecerte a Ron de todo lo que tú has hecho por nosotros. Nunca, nunca pensábamos que ella iba a vivir como ahora está viviendo. Porque vive bien, bien. Por eso te vuelvo a repetir, gracias por todo lo que has hecho. Gracias, Motlain.